In this quick video guide, we're gonna see how we can work with 3D in Photoshop and we can export and import. And we can do this by going into uh, creating a new file. We can start from an existing file. Perhaps uh, if it's gonna be like a 3D, we can uh, just import as a 3D. Or if it's a 2D graphics, we can turn it into a 3D object. So I'm just gonna show you here real quickly uh, it's better if you have a PNG when you, ne you need to do this. So I'm going to use uh, like a PNG image right here. And then uh, what I can do is just switch here in the workspace. I'm going to go in 3D. And then once I am in 3D, I can extrude this layer right here. So to do this, I'm just going to go to 3D and select new extrusion from select layer. Now there are not so many things you can do in Photoshop in 3D, just the simple things. And let's go okay here and let's wait. And there you go, that's my 3D. Now I can orbit around, I can move the layer around like this. And so I, you can use also vector graphics and turn a shape into a 3D. So you can basically turn anything in here into a 3D. I can orbit around the this logo. It's kind of heavy. It's going really slow. And also you can change the material there on the various parts of the 3D model. Now I'm not gonna spend too much time uh, talking about 3D in Photoshop. Just wanna show you how to import and export. So when you create some 3D in Photoshop to export, you go back here again, 3D and then you go to export 3D layer. Now you can make more 3D layers, again, using vector graphics, text, or uh, other uh, PNG images without the, the background, and it's gonna extrude like this, or you can extrude an entire image, and you have other options. So once you're ready, you define here the 3D file format for the export, and I think the GLTF, GLB will be the more compatible. You can use uh, GLB or GLTF, you can select from here. And uh, then you have the uh, AE and then you have STL. This is good for printing, 3D printing. So if you want to go directly to print this model, you can do it. And then you have OBJ for like Maya and uh, you know other products. So depending on what you're going to use. I'm, I'm going to show you in Blender how you can open this. So I'm going to use the GL, uh, B, GLTF and then I'm going to export. And I want to export it uh, in here, this uh, folder. So I'm going to save it. And there you go. Now, uh, to import a new layer in inside Photoshop, I'm going to just turn this off. And I can go here to 3D again, and then new 3D layer from file. Well, of course, first you need to have a 3D file to use. And I want to show you quickly how you can get like from Polyaven uh, a file, a 3D file that you can use. So if you go here to Assets, Models, you will find a lot of files that you can quickly bring in um, Photoshop. So perhaps I want to have this cut. Select here the, the format that you can use, which in this case is GLTF. Now also you can get 3D models from other website. You can open them with Blender and then export from Blender into GLTF will always look like a compatible file. In this case, it's gonna be GLTF. So I'm gonna download it. And again, I will download it in the, well, actually I have a folder for this. So I created a folder for Polyaven and that's gonna be the GLTF cat statue. And then I'm gonna open it up into the folder. And what you wanna do is extract. So right click, extract the 3D file. And once it's extracted, you can then bring it in uh, Photoshop. So let's go back into, uh, this is Blender. So I wanna go in, back in Photoshop right here. And I'm gonna go to File, uh, 3D, uh, new 3D layer from File, and navigate into the folder where I just saved this cat statue. I just wanna delete this zipped folder, which I don't need once I extracted everything. And there you go. So this is the concrete statue GLTF. Let's open it up and define uh, like 3D units, uh, but let's keep it millimeters and let's say, okay. And there you go. That's the cat right here. And then we can like move it around inside Photoshop. Let's 
going pretty slow because the, the file size is pretty big. So perhaps I can change here the image size, make this a little bit smaller. Let's make like 1000 pixels instead of uh, 2000. And that should like speed up things a little bit. You need to have a good graphic card. You need to make sure the graphic card is working if you want to work with 3D in uh, Photoshop. And there you go. So we have the cats here. And what we can do inside Photoshop is start to paint and do, well, pretty much everything we do in 2D, we can do it in 3D. Once we have the object inside, we can, let me just rotate it a little bit like this. We can start with a brush. So I can brush directly on the 3D object, as you see. So I can create like new layers and brush on top of the image or just brush directly on the cat. And I can do that also with other blending modes and with other colors to make things a little bit more interesting. There you go. And there you go. So this is how you can import. Now let's see also uh, the exported file. So I'm going to go in Blender and here we will just import. So I'm going to go to file, import, and I'm going to choose GLB, GLTF, navigate again in my folder where I saved that, which in my case, it was in Blender tree folder. And if you're interested in Photoshop or Blender, you find the video courses in the channel and uh, there it is. So this is the one I just exported. So let's import and there you go. Now it's right there. I just need to select this cube and delete it to see the, the logo and that I, that I've imported. And then now I can work with this in Blender. So let's also check the material. So if I click here, I can see the material, which was in the PNG. I can change materials here. Also in uh, Blender, you have like different materials for each different part of the of the object so I can make this like more metallic or more plastic now you also have text to paint in blender which is kind of similar in Photoshop but we need to fix this a little bit otherwise it's gonna go like a little bit crazy so right now um, painting there you go so yeah it looks pretty fine but perhaps we can like adjust it even more and you can paint you can sculpt in blender you can do a lot of things and it's open source so uh, it's a uh, completely accessible software that you can start to use uh, once you finish in photoshop and you want to proceed with something more uh, complex so that's it uh, if you enjoyed this video please subscribe to the channel and also if you want to thank us you want to support us please join the channel as a supporter and check out other courses and guides that you find in the channel. Uh, so that's it. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video guide.